Gary Mitchell has heard the jokes about Chateau Neuf to Flushing and Far Rockaway Red. It's to be expected. As the operations manager of the Queens County Farm Museum, Mitchell supervises the only working winery in New York City. Uh, well, we, we get we get a general reaction here at the farm about, oh, you have a farm in the middle of Queens anyway. So when we say, oh, we're going to grow wine grapes on that farm in the middle of Queens, people sort of go, wow, <laughs> that's kind of interesting. <laughs> The museum, which sits on land that has been continuously farmed since 1697, is a popular destination with school groups. The one-and-a-half-acre grape wine arbor was started six years ago by a museum management looking for ways to make the place more attractive to adults. Now it's bringing its first crop to market, complete with a label that puts the city skyline in the background. I suppose that's the unique quality. Um, what I'm hoping is that the wine's drinkable. That's the, the key. I mean, we could be from New York City, but if nobody would like to taste the wine, then. But um, thankfully, at least from the, the few tasters that we've had, the Wall Street Journal and others have tasted, and they seem to say that we did a pretty good job. Lessons learned in six years of growing wine grapes? Number one, it's really hard. Number two, the Merlot is best suited to the soil and the climate. The first Queens County Farm Museum wines go on sale later this month in the museum gift shop. Warren Levinson, The Associated Press, New York.